A polite no sometimes is the best thing ever, right? Hey, can you guys knock 25% off of this? No. Can you give me a discount? No. And here's the funny thing. If you go down the door of like, well, I just want to be helpful, the least when somebody is asking for a discount, if you just want to be helpful, the least helpful thing you can do is what? Give them a discount because now we've established I was trying to screw you over before and now we'll get to the real price. But wait a minute. Loop of death. That's what it looks like, by the way. I'm just going to call it the L-O-D. The loop of death. That's what the loop of death looks like. Can you give me a discount? Sure. What were you looking for? I don't know. 5%. Okay. Yeah. Here's 5% off. Loop of death. Well, can you give me some more money off? Yeah. I, I don't know. What were you looking for? 10%. Oh yeah. Yeah. 5%. That was for suckers. Here's 10% off. They can't read your mind. Hence the loop of death. So the minute you enter the realm, the vicinity, the zip code of, yeah, sure, let me give you a discount, you have entered the loop of death, the death spiral, the downward spiral of I was trying, and I know you guys aren't, but it seems like, it sounds like it, you smell that? Smells like you were trying to get them to pay something that they shouldn't have paid before and now we're given a discount. It's not good. The best way to avoid the loop of death, so eloquently pointed out, is just a polite no. Hey, can you guys uh, knock anything off of the price? No. Does it make sense to move forward? Well, I mean, we just don't have the budget for it. What were you looking to take out? Is Kay just pointed, right? Guys, when you keep things simple, when you keep things straightforward, when you keep things above the boards, it's amazing how much easier it is to close business. Because you're simple, you're straightforward, you're above the boards, right? Based on everything you told me, that's why I scoped the pricing the way that we did. Does it make sense to move forward? Well, yeah, but I can't pay that. What would you like to remove? Well, nothing, I wanted it that way, which is why I scoped it that way. Well, I just don't have the budget for it. What are some of your thoughts? Put it back. People will solve their own problems. You don't need to get into a loop of death, right? Well, can you take some money off? Sure, is that enough money? Yeah, but now I need some more money off. Okay, there you go. Loop of death versus, well, I just can't afford it. What are some of your thoughts? <sighs> can you guys come down by about 20%? No. Well, you're sure, yes. All right, well, we're going to get this thing off the, across the goal line, but um, this is coming out of my marketing budget, so we better, we better deliver on this. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. It's what we do all day, every day. Because of the fact that you had told me you're looking for XYZ, I'm, I'm excited. What happens next? We'll send the contract over. We'll, we'll get it going for you, right? To your point, a polite no sometimes is the easiest way to move the deal forward. The minute that we bring negotiating into the table is the easiest way to jam the deal up exponentially.